Um, yeah. Our next student will be Charlotte Wilson. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Corey, so much. Um, again, my name is Charlotte Wilson, and today I'll be talking about the development of an augmented reality in mixed media trainer for dental, dental anesthetics. Um, I'd first like to thank my, or my capstone mentor, Dr. Greeny, um, as well as Dr. Orr, Noah Lepic, and the entire team at InWorks for making this project possible. So I'd first like to start um, with a bit of background. So current second year dental students are required to complete coursework in local anesthetics and nerve blocks. Currently, they practice these procedures on one another. Um, therefore, there's no supplementary low stakes tool available for students to practice nerve blocks um, before practicing on each other and eventually patients. So the goal of this project was to develop an augmented reality and mixed material model for students to better visualize and understand the regional anatomy near the inferior alveolar nerve. So this image here is just demonstrating um, the procedure that we are discussing. We had the needle um, entering close to the inferior alveolar nerve and supplying it with anesthetics for different dental procedures. So this project is really split into three um, sections. First um, was work done in Autodesk Maya. We first acquired models from Touch of Life Technologies and those were loaded into Maya seen here. Um, these included muscles that are related to the oral cavity, bones, nerves, and arteries as well. From those original models, we then used established anatomical landmarks to model the soft tissue of the oral cavity, which is seen here. And then finally, to accurately represent what a patient's oral cavity might look like during such a procedure, we actually opened up the oral cavity. We created a false um, hinge joint at the mandibular condyle, which allowed us to open the oral cavity as it would be in such a procedure. The next step in this project was 3D printing and molding. So in Maya, we designed this base seen here, which is fitted with the mandible that was acquired from Touch of Life Technologies, and then the soft tissue model as well. In order to represent um, the, the density of the soft tissue as best as we could, we decided to silicone mold it. So here we have a 3D printed cast that was filled with silicone, and that allowed us to have this uh, silicone mold seen here in pink. Finally, all three of these physical models were fitted together, so the 3D printed base, the 3D printed mandible, and then the soft tissue cast seen here. The last component of this project was development, developing the augmented reality component, which was done in Unity using the Vforia uh, augmented reality plugin. So seen here is a screen capture of the final oral cavity models in Unity. We then loaded in a 3D modeled syringe, which was also modeled in Maya, into Unity, and we gave it a unique image identifier seen here. And this will allow the camera to recognize the image and populate the screen with the 3D modeled syringe. Finally, this is a screen capture showing what a student might see on their screen. So we have the oral cavity model seen here, which is fixed and stationary, and that allows for the dental syringe to interact with it. We can also see the inferior alveolar nerve here, which has been artificially colored yellow, yellow for better visualization. Uh, we also removed the medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid, and the buccinator just for better visualization of the nerve. So I have two videos demonstrating um, this product in use. So the first is going to be showing you um, the physical model in front of me and then uh, the computer screen as well. So I'll start that. So again, we have the um, 3D printed base, mandible, and soft tissue. I also have a dental syringe in front of me with the unique image identifier, and that is what I'm going to show the screen, and that allows the camera to populate the screen with the uh, 3D model dental syringe. So now that that is loaded onto the screen, the 3D dental syringe can be manipulated and interact with the oral cavity model. So this is a real-time view of what I'm seeing on my screen. The needle, you can, or the syringe, excuse me, is moving in relationship to the movement of the syringe that I'm holding in my hands. And you can see it interacting with the inferior alveolar nerve and 
we can have a better sense of where the needle tip is in relationship to the nerve. So future directions for this project sort of fall into two categories. Um, the first is future iter iterations for the product. Um, first, we could create a hollow silicone mold that would allow for needle tip deflection. Um, in actuality, the needle tip can deflect once it pierces the mucosa. Um, the silicone that we chose didn't really allow for that, so that's something we can do in the future. Uh, second, we can also place the unique image identifier on the barrel of the syringe, and that would allow for more accurate tracking of the dental syringe in 3D space. And finally, we can also develop, the, develop this for an app for an iOS or for Android, which would allow for better usability for students. Um, this project also has future research directions as well. These include beta testing with uh, current third and fourth year dental students um, who've taken the course already just to better understand um, the product and any sort of feedback we might get to make the product more um, user friendly for students. Wonderful, thank you. Great job, Charlotte, that was really cool. So how soon can we get these, um, <laughs> this into the students, right? We're, we're delayed yeah. because of the virus? Yes, um, exactly. So had the pandemic not happened, we were hoping to test this with um, dental students, but that's not feasible right now. Um, I could imagine, I mean, it's pretty much ready to go. So I would love to get in front of some dental students to get some feedback. So as soon as possible. We've got time for one or two more questions. Anyone got a question? Again, a lot of awesome, super, super cool. Good job. Thank you. Any other questions or we good? I'll stop sharing my screen. Okay, so here's one question I think I missed. What? Or, Actually, I think it was from before. Okay, I think that's good. Awesome. Cool. I'll stop sharing my screen. Thank you. All right.